guys welcome to Fimi's desserts youtube channel so today we are going to be learning how to make the good old trifle in the red velvet version so you must understand that um, trifle comes in different variants of flavors you can make with chocolate trifle like like the chocolate cake trifle red velvet cake trifle even the vanilla sponge cake trifle depending on your preference and you can actually even mix and match but today we're going to be making the red velvet cake trifle as seen here that's going to be topped with some yummy fillings some whipped cream and some custard cream as seen here so this is already crushed and crumbled to give it the consistency that would work well with the cups these are trifle cups and this is actually very versatile it's handy because it has a lid so you can you just you can just put your sticker or anything and then it comes with a cutlery as seen here so it's also very handy for your dessert kitchen as well so for today let's just go right into it now this is already a pre-whipped cream or a stable whipped cream to put in the piping bag this is the already prepared custard cream this is the crushed chocolate and stuff that i'm going to be using as toppings and then this is a caramel filling already put in here so it would be easier for me to put it in, in the cup without having so much mess going on so we're just going to be working with just a sample to make this fast. I'm not going to, I'm going to be doing the rest behind camera. So the first thing I'm going to be needing is a clean cup like this already. If you're not sure it's clean, just make sure to clean it up very properly. So after that, you can do it now. So you're going to be needing, depending on the size of the cup, this is about a 350ml cup. So I'll be putting just about one and a half spoons for the first time. Note that why it is called a trifle is because it has multiple layers of the cake mixed with the cream. So because I don't want to overclog this cup and make it too filled up, I will not put up too much. It's just going to stop somewhere here. So you can have like a beauty of its own. So this is the first thing that is going to go on with this. For everything you're doing, this has to be the first step of the cake. After that, you then go ahead to add you would notice that I have two types of cream here. I have the one that has the tea. That's the one I'm going to be using on the toppings. So what I'm going to be doing now is just to pipe this around from the edge. Okay, see? You don't need to put too much because the cake is still going to press it down further. So this is the first step. After which I'll be adding the caramel filling already poured in here into the center point of the cake in here just a little bit it doesn't have to show but if you want it to show it's another type you can also show but notice that for all of these factors if you want it to show definitely the next thing going on again is another layer of cake same don't put so much like i said earlier see and then the beauty is you pressing it firmly down see to show that it actually has good layers this so even if you're going to be making 20 30 of this you keep repeating this process see it already looks nice so after doing this now the next thing that's going to be going in is the custard cream i've seen here already made that goes in gives it a good contrast i've seen one thing about trifle is it's always very better to chill it up before you even attempt to sell it. As seen that. So I will then go ahead to add up another layer of cream. This. Okay. And then another layer of cake. So this is going to be the final layer of cake anyway. See? This is going to be the final layer of cake. Then I'll add up the last bit of cream and then I'll top it nicely. So I'm almost done with this video. Just stay. So see that. Let's make sure. Okay. So, so this is what it looks like without the final layer of cream. See that. So, so at this point, I'm going to be using the the, tea, the cream that is already put in the tea. So it just goes all the way from the sides, 
right to the center you don't need to make a an indented top or anything so at this point you just take you know, okay i don't have anything anything at all just add some toppings to spice things up use anything any chocolate of your choice is just fine see that yeah that's the effect i'm looking for So when that is done now, because I have my gloves on, you can just use your hands to get it fairly fitted in it. And this is what you have. Okay, so see? Can you see the perfect contrast of the white cream, the red cake, the caramel filling, and then the more red cake? And this is basically, so if you're gonna be selling this off or it's going out and moved or anything, you just need to just simply close it up without any mess and yeah the tracking is ready cutlery gets attached on the surface or by the side with the tape or anything and this is actually a very good and a very handy dessert option that you can offer to your clients that want to buy and taste your products without having to buy the full product so that's going to be all about today's class i hope that it was as brief as you'd like it and i do hope that you're going to try this out introduce it to your clients and come back and give me a feedback when you taste it so till next time guys i remain your favorite girl your favorite baker girl famous dessert girl bye